Welcome to Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Well, are you one of many Americans hooked on Zillow surfing? Now, over the pandemic and during the pandemic, usage of the popular real estate app skyrocketed. But many scrolling through the listings are using it for reasons other than home buying. Yeah, I'm a total Zillow surfer. Call it a pandemic pastime, a recent spike in scrolling on real estate listings. Zillow saw traffic to its apps and websites hit 9.6 billion visits, and that was up 1.5 billion from the year before. People stuck inside their homes started dreaming of new ones. Some even say they're addicted. Very often I'll just sit down at night instead of going on Facebook or Instagram, I go on Zillow. Are you bored? A trend so widespread, it got new. Saturday Night Live's attention. I need a new fantasy. Then you need Zilla. 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 But there might be some truth in those jokes. It's fun to fantasize about alternate realities. According to a survey of 1,500 Zillow users, 83% said they were not actually looking to buy. And we also found 28% um, of people said they have ignored their, their, their partner or their family uh, while they were Zillow surfing. More than half of those surveyed said they've used the app to snoop on a friend or neighbor, either to see what the inside looks like or to see the purchase price. On Zillow, it's easy to see all sorts of details about homes just about anywhere on the map, including price history and interior photos. It's a new dating tactic, wow. like looking up their address beforehand. Many real estate surfers do want to buy a home. But according to Zillow, inventory is down this year by more than 30%, with prices soaring more than 20% in many markets, with high demand leading to big bidding war. Homes are flying off the market in a median of six days right now. Leaving many would-be home buyers as mere window shoppers. Now, according to the real estate marketplace, many of the folks that are buying homes found on Zillow are millennials. It is the largest generation of home buyers right now. And Zillow says they're more comfortable making big purchases online and using technology like virtual tours and often buying sight unseen. Quite remarkable. And you know what? A minor confession of my own, Rhonda and Grant. One of the things since we're the Great Lakes state is looking around, whether it's Southeast Michigan or within any of the Great Lakes or even Lake St. Clair, looking for islands that are just off the coast of Michigan but still within Michigan and seeing what home prices are there. Interesting. I actually went to Drummond Island, which you're new to Michigan, yeah. but it's up off near the UP, but you have to get there by ferry and Lots of nice property there. I mean, that's some pandemic searching right there, right? <laughs> like a house on an island? That sounds totally. great. Totally. We have them in Michigan. <laughs>